Oh, hey guys, I got a beer for you tonight. It's uh, Harvest Pale Ale out of uh, out of the Ice Ice Harbor Brewing Company out of uh, Kennewick, Washington. Uh, this is uh, local local beer out of Washington. It's uh, it's hopped with the uh, Cascade and Centennial hops, and uh, this is over in eastern Washington, it's over in the over in the hop country. Uh, it's a 6.3 percent uh, alcohol. And IBUs is uh, it's a 50 IBU. Um, let me give you a little read of the brief description here on the site. It says Harvest Pale Ale, a medium-bodied, deep golden ale with a distinctive aroma and refreshing flavor. Dry hopping with Centennial and Cascade hops produces a beer with a delightful balance of natural sweetness and assertive hop finish. So, with that, let's give this baby a pop this baby open on election night. Oh. I think that was a twist top. Yeah, most of these domestic beers are. I forgot. That's okay. Let's give this baby a pour. See how she... Maybe pour it a little bit more aggressive than I usually do. Oh, that looks really nice. It's got a nice, nice golden kind of a golden, light, coppery color to it. Very, very nice hop aroma. Very nice hop aroma. Oh, it's very distinctive, too. Not sure which one they used for the aroma hops, but... It was dry, it said it was dry hopped with Cascade and Centennial, so... Got a good malty, there's a good malty flavor. Uh, carbonation looks super good in it. Got a nice head, about a finger of head in there. All right, let's give it a go. I think this one's going to be a really, looks like a good beer, for sure. First, first off, it's got a really nice full, full flavor, full malty flavor. And I'm not sure if this has a, a date on it, but the... Uh, the bittering hops aren't aren't uh, overpowering. Maybe it's maybe it's been aging for a while, but it's real real mild on the hops. There's a little little bittering in there, but it says it's a 50 IBU, which is doesn't seem like it's uh, doesn't seem like it's that bitter. Looks good though. It's got a got a nice very nice appearance. I'm gonna give this a. I'm gonna give this about a 92. It's about a. Hey, I like this beer. It's really good. It's not. Uh, it's not over, overly bitter. It's just got a nice. Uh, the aroma is really nice on it, though. Really super, super good. Yeah, give this one a try, guys. It's uh, Ice Harbor Brewing Company out of Kennewick, Kennewick, Washington. Harvest Pale Ale. Yeah, I've got a. Uh, I, I just fired up. A, a, I'm gonna do a Belgian ale. Um, I actually, uh, I wanted to kind of copy a beer that I really enjoyed doing, which I did a, I, I sampled a Duvel probably a good month ago, and I've just been doing some reading up on some of the Belgian beers, and really find them interesting as far as, uh, you know, the, the recipes and how they're put together, so I've done a little bit of research on them, and the, the recipes seem pretty straightforward, pretty simple. But what what I really found interesting was the the different Belgian yeasts that they that they try uh, or that they use. And uh, what I found interesting with the Duvel is that uh, when it was originally produced, uh, they they actually took a Scottish ale yeast and they deconstructed it, and then they came up with uh, their own Belgian yeast. But the, the yeast I use in this is a WLP 575, which is according to all the research I did is it's actually a mixture of three different types of Belgian yeast and um, on, on this one I uh, like the Duvel they on the secondary they do a, a, a really uh, long lagering at a cooler temperature and then when they then when you bottle it uh, for the bottle conditioning they actually put in uh, 
one of the recipes was saying to put in a couple drops of uh, some fresh yeast along with your priming sugar because after the yeast cools down it kind of kind of loses a little little bit of uh, vigor but I'm gonna give it a try see how it goes it's still it's still fermenting according to the according to a lot of the recipes it just says to you know let this thing ferment out for I mean the, the total from firing it up in the fermenter until until uh, it's ready to go they're saying you know give it about six months so um, the secondary I'm gonna put it in the fridge uh, and that's gonna be in there for a minimum of 30 days so anyway it should be interesting um, I think the Belgian beers are I'm gonna try a couple different ones I'm gonna fire one up another one up because uh, um, you know they're kind of they kind of got a long aging process and that way I'll get my I've got a pretty big inventory of beer right now so I've got to bring that down a little bit but anyway um, that's about it it's election night I think I'll watch to see how the returns are going uh, looks like last time I looked it looked like Dino Rossi was uh, was ahead of Patty Murray she's the incumbent she's been in there about 20 years so uh, I don't know. To see what happens. It's interesting. Looks like the Republicans are going to take over the House, and I don't think they're going to take over the Senate. But uh, next two years could be interesting. So, uh, and I start a new job tomorrow too. So anyway, I guess I have to celebrate with a little uh, this Washington local Washington beer out of Kennewick, Washington. Okay, guys, we go watch the rest of the election returns. You guys have a good one. Nice beer. Give it a try. Harvest Pale Ale out of Ice Harbor Brewing Company. Okay, guys. Take it easy. Have a good one. Yeah, I gave it, gave it a little bit more of aggressive pour to get in there, so gave it a really nice head. Now it's a couple fingers. So, anyway, it's a good looking beer, guys. Good tasting beer, too. All right. Take it easy, guys. Catch you on the next one. I'll see you later. Adios. Wow, look at that. Nice looking. Nice looking beer. Out of Kennewick, Washington. Adios, everybody.